universe came into existence 13.7 billion years ago with the event known as the Big Bang. We have been able to see back close to the beginning, using telescopes to capture distant light emitted billions of years ago. The famous Hubble Space Telescope has allowed us to look back when galaxies were still in the process of forming. The W map provided us with an amazing view of the cosmic microwave background, the afterglow from the Big Bang. Before this point, the universe was too hot and light was unable to shine through the dense fog of charged particles. This prevents telescopes from being able to see beyond this point. However, there is a way to recreate the conditions of this early universe right here on Earth. The conditions of the early universe were of extreme heat and energy, which led to the creation of strange forms of matter and physics. For decades, particle physicists have been recreating these early conditions with particle accelerators, smashing particles together to create similar levels of heat and energy. Particle detectors are then employed to capture these events to help us learn more about what the universe was like in these early times. ATLAS is such a detector at the Large Hadron Collider. Late in 2009, the LHC and the ATLAS detector broke world records by creating and detecting the highest energy collisions ever made. In the years to come, it will reach its full capacity and push to even higher energies and further back in time. ATLAS will be discovering new kinds of particles such as the Higgs and unlocking new realms of physics that may include new dimensions of space and particles of dark matter. This frontier of knowledge will continue to be pushed to help us learn more about the origins of our universe and what happened a fraction of a second after the Big Bang.